Fender are arguably the biggest and most established important guitar manufacturer on the planet. And in accordance with that, they make and have made an awful lot of guitars since 1950. With factories in America, Mexico, Japan, and even a foray into Chinese-built Fenders, they have produced countless models in countless ranges, from the Mexican standard to the Japanese vintage reissues, signature models, custom shops, and even guitars from a parallel universe. But with so many to choose from and such a variance in quality and price throughout the years, it can be a minefield. And with that in mind, I'm Joe from the Guitar Nerds Podcast, and this is our top five best fenders that won't break the bank. In at number five, the Mexican-made Fender Offset Series Mustang 90. Not one of the most popular Fender models by far, this sub 500 pound Fender is worth every single penny you'll pay for it. Recently rebadged as the Fender Player Mustang 90, the Offset Slash Player is a fantastic option for those seeking a slinkier feel. The shorter scale length is something that for Fender has always come with a trade-off. Usually short scale means budget guitar for the big F, and so in the case of the standard Mustang comes with some relatively low output, thin sounding single coils. Now I think that's kind of cool, but it's not very versatile. Enter the Mustang 90, a dual P90 loaded incarnation of this charming fiddle. Tonally supercharged, less than 500 pounds, and available in some charming colours like Burgundy Mist, Aged Natural, and Seafoam Green. At number 4, the Fender Japan Paisley Stratocaster. If you are looking for a Fender with a bit of character, then this wonderful Japanese model is for you. Fender Japan introduced the pink Paisley Stratocaster from 1988, and it was made off and on until around 2008. It's pretty much a standard Japanese vintage spec strat with a basswood body, large headstock and bullet truss rod adjustment. What makes it so special is the pink floral paisley finish which was printed on foil backed paper and glued to the body and pit guard before being over sprayed. Fender Japan makes some of the most interesting value for money and well built fenders on the market and this might be the coolest Japanese Fender you can buy for less than a thousand pounds. In at number 3, the Fender Cabranita Telecaster. Back in 2010, Fender introduced the custom shop La Cabranita Especial Telecaster, a slab bodied stripped down slicer nice with a pair of hot as hell pickups and one of the most extreme departures in tele design for years. Thankfully, later down the line, Fender reintroduced this guitar as a Mexican built replica of the La Cabranita Especial at a much more affordable price point. This wonderfully cool guitar covers all the same bases as the custom shop original, slab looks a pair of Gretsch style Fidelitron pickups replacing the original TV Jones buckers, a trimmed scratch plate and a single volume control. Plus with a pocket friendly price tag you can now be the coolest kid in school for much less money. At number 2, the Pawn Shop Offset Special. Yes Americans, the way we say porn and the way we say porn are the same. Anyway, look at how good this looks! An original body outline that combines strat style double cutaway horns with a significantly sloping waist and lower bouts borrowed from the Jazzmaster, a single elongated F hole and a pair of jazz humbuckers disguising themselves as Jazzmaster singles, a big old vibrato arm and a Fender amp volume and tone knobs mark this retro twanger as an absolute banger. Plus. It's available in pink, plus you can pick them up for less than $600. Topping this list at number one, podcast listeners already know this one, the Fender Baja Telecaster. Take a drink. The classic player Baja Telecaster, whilst being a standard Mexican built instrument, is in fact a custom shop inspired, like all classic player models, this is an instrument thought up by the custom shop but produced en masse in Mexico, resulting in some wonderful tweaks and incredible bang for your buck. This one hails from the Ensenada factory in Baja, California, the northernmost state of Mexico. Its ash body is the perfect tonal choice for 50 style tellies. The wood grain works a treat on the classic butterscotch finish. Coupled with a more modern 9.5 inch radius fingerboard and medium jumbo frets, the classic player Baja Telecaster is only in disguise as an old broadcaster. Featuring some lovely modern custom shoppy appointments such as custom shop 
twisted telly pickups at the neck and a custom shop broadcaster single coil at the bridge. And charmingly, the Baja telly has a four-way blade selector and a discreet push-push switch in the volume pot for Fender's expanded S1 switching. Now discontinued, this wonderful beast goes on the various marketplaces of the internet for around five, six hundred pounds, which is more than worth it for probably the best Fender you can buy for less than a thousand pounds. Well, there you have it, the Guitar Nerd's top five best Fenders that won't break the bank. But what do you think? What did I miss? Let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more videos and we'll be back next week with more of this guitar nerdery. Farewell. <laughs>